Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. How good I need to know PLC programming and PLC hardware to get first role. This is especially important question if you are starting your career or you are trying to learn PLC programming by yourself watching YouTube videos. In this video, I would share with you the complete map for a PLC programmer. How good you need to know about different aspects. What are the areas which are important for you to learn? Before we start this video, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content. Now let's get back to the video. The first thing that I wanted to tell you, this is not just technical challenge. It's all about mindset challenge or mindset problem. Most beginners don't really know how much you need to know. An automation industry like other industries where we talk about license, doctors, electricians, there is no license, there is no government rules like nothing like doctors and electricians. What does that mean for us? That means there is no clear map, no clear path, no one size that fits all. But don't worry, I will share in this video four different ways people enter into the automation field. The first one is a traditional way. The first way or first method that most of the people get into automation field is through college or university. Some people study electrical, computer engineering, computer engineering, electronics engineering and different relative fields and they get into automation field. So in their degree what they learn that help them to get into automation field. So these degrees helps you to build problem solving skills, basic programming logic like C, C++ and also it helps you to get communication and team working skill set which are very vital for a PLC engineer. But remember, most of universities don't train you or don't teach you how to write a code, how to set up a PLC hardware, how to build up a control panel for a PLC or download a program in a real system. This is what you need to learn separately to get into automation field. And that is one of the issue most of the people fail because they spend a lot of time getting the degree. But once they have a degree in their hand, they don't spend much time to learn actual practical skills required. But having just a degree is not enough. You need to understand all these concepts. And once you have these concepts very clear, how hardware works, how to program and how to solve different issues using a PLC and how PLC automate different process needs. If you know that and if you have a clear mindset about it, then you are really in a good direction and you are going to get sooner or later good job in automation PLC engineering role. The second path is a certification and training path. There are many companies and institutions worldwide which provide trainings related to automation. And most of the people enroll in these courses to learn PLC, DCS and SCADA. Companies like Siemens, Allen Bradley and ISA which is International Society of Automation also offer these kind of a courses which are costly courses for sure but that helps you to understand the concepts that are needed or that are required to get into automation. Our IT and Automation Academy platform also provide one of a special piece of a training where we pick up the people hands and help them understand what are the core concepts that are required for them to get into automation field. We also offer PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI courses but they are unique in a sense that, that there is a structure map laid out. You don't need to worry about anything. We will provide you all you need to get going 
and get into automation or PLC engineering field. So if you are interested, for further details, you can contact us on the number provided on the screen and our team will definitely guide you how to enroll. You got online courses and there are obviously Udemy and other platforms which create sort of a video courses also to help you understand the concepts. That's also one of the options that you can try. Another path which is very important and most of the people uses that path as well is maintenance and technician path. These guys really understand already how to connect to sensors and actuators. They understand instrumentation and different electrical components very clearly. They also understand the control panel wirings and troubleshooting issue and how to how to fix the issues and troubleshoot the issues related to PLC and DCS and SCADA. They can also open up the software to see what's going on and they can modify a little logic to get the things working. They might not be able to write the full program but for sure they have an advantage that they, they understand the real process and real machineries and instrumentation. If you are one of them you are already halfway. All you need is you need to learn just logic development and its testing. Now most exciting option is learning from your home. You can download the softwares for free or you can use the online simulators like Logix Pro or you can also get some kind of a trial software from Siemens website for different PLC brands. Like you can get the TA portal software, you can also have a Cinematic Manager software and get and start learning using that trial period. There is another very important software called Factory IO that help you to visualize the process and also you can just simply integrate your PLC program simulation to that to that software to visualize the actions happening through your PLC program. And that's where we got one complete playlist. If you are interested to watch that just get into our playlist, PL learn PLC step by step and that's where you got many videos to learn PLC programming. And then we have one video learn PLC in one hour. I would put the link somewhere here. You can watch that video to get understanding about the hardware aspects and that would help you to just get started. Now I'm going to talk about something which is very, very important for you to understand that can transform you from zero to hero. Most of the people know a lot, but they don't know how to show their skills. So you need to make folders about screenshots of your programs, description of your logic, even short videos and share it on LinkedIn and different platforms. That will definitely help you to get a visibility to the people who need people like you. If you are watching till right now, this is one of very important point where most of the people fail because they know a lot but nobody knows that they know that thing. So if you can, if you have a courage to post the videos, I would recommend you to post it. And if you're watching this video and, in, and inspired by this thing, I would suggest you tag me to all the videos that you are posting in by getting inspiration from this video. I would comment and I got a huge LinkedIn following. Obviously, when I will comment into your video, that would have a better, better visibility in my network, which is over 36,000 people at this stage when you are watching this video or when this video is public. So you can don't forget to tag me if you start doing this thing and do let me know if it really helps you to get the job as well. Now let's talk about what exactly you need to know. All you need to know is basic process. The industry, if you're targeting oil and gas industry, you need to understand oil and gas industry process. If you're targeting fertilizer, then you need to understand the fertilizer industry process. So wherever you want to go and try your luck, it's important to understand how process works in that industry. 
Let's start with the basic PLC hardware as well. How the hardware connects, what, what is input card, what is output card, what are the field instrumentation, what, what is 4 to 20 milliampere signal, 0 to 10 volt and different standard instrumentation signals. What are different protocols you need to understand Modbus, CANBUS, Profinet, Profibus and all these communication protocols like DNP3 if you are obviously interested to get into SCADA domain this is one of very important protocol to understand. In a PLC, obviously, you need to start building up on first foundation. What are different instructions? And then once you know the instructions, then you can start building smaller programs. You need to learn different languages like FPD and STL as well, along with ladder logic. So concepts like digital programming and analog programming is very important. You need to know how to get a signal from a transmitter, how to get it into a PLC and how to scale it. And then if in the case you wanted to control some stuff through the output, analog output module, how to do that, this is very important. PID block is important and that's one of the things that should be very much clear for you if in the case you want to get into PLC programming. Many people think of PLC programming is just about ladder logic or writing a small code. It's bigger than that. PLC, PLC engineer need to focus on some other areas. Like they need to understand how to read PNID diagrams, how to read electrical wiring diagrams, control panel drawings, what are the steps that are involved in logic planning, how to design HMI and SCADA, how to execute site acceptance tests and factory acceptance tests, and the troubleshooting and testing skills are also important. So when you learn, try to imagine how everything connects. Another thing which is very important and where most of the people struggle is networking how to connect to different people. Three jaws mostly comes from people that you know. If you don't have anyone in that field, then you can definitely use the LinkedIn. Try to make some stuff, like I said, your sample works and then tag the people that help you to get into where you are or to understand these concepts. And finally, which is very important point, never stop learning. Industry is revolving nowadays. It's not about just learning PLC programming. You need to understand industry 4.0, 5.0, industrial digitalization. You need to understand OT cybersecurity and use of AI and automation. I got one video somewhere here. Please feel free to watch that. Feel free to watch that if you're interested to know more about it. So in short, just keep practicing. Start small build simple projects with the passage of time you would get more confidence and definitely that would help you to get into automation i would suggest you start wherever you are don't wait for a perfect time and perfect conditions to start with plc programming just give it a start you believe me mark my words you will get better every week and remember i'm here to help you motivate you to get into automation in PLC engineering field. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next time, take care and Allah Hafiz.